This video is proudly sponsored by Story Gary, a great YouTube channel filled to the brim with great family fun. You sure won't be disappointed by the channel, so why not immerse yourself in one of Gary Whitman's fantastic children's stories or humorous poems right after this video. Mr. Whitman's channel really is the one that will complete your YouTube subscriptions box because it's the perfect channel to navigate to whatever your mood. Better still, you can find Mr. Whitman and his work scattered across the whole internet, so be sure to follow the links in the description below and capture just some of the fun waiting to be had. Please support Gary Whitman, who I'd like to thank for supporting my videos. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brittany Louise Taylor, and I watch Ask the Teen on Teen Talks. <laughs> Enjoy! Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ask the Teen. Hopefully I'll be nice and lively this episode because I feel like in some of the last few episodes I've been a bit downbeat even though I wasn't sad but I don't know why. So on with the questions. f 11184 by asks my first question today and she says what are your future plans for YouTube? Well I'll tell you what they are and she also asks kind of are you doing any more short films? Well I want to do a bit of both to be honest with you. First of all I want to do lots more like kind of music videos, uh, Ask the Teens, uh, scripted stuff, comic stuff, all that kind of stuff. But I want to do some more big projects. I'm working on one outside YouTube at the minute, but that will hopefully go on YouTube eventually. And I've got two more YouTube short films planned for the next few uh, weeks, months, years. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Nerd Jam asks me another question about Base Chase 2, which I'm glad to answer because I like answering questions about Base Chase 2. And he says to me, Did you just ring up and ask to use the airport for Base Chase 2? Or were you calling in a favour? Well, I did actually just ring up. Uh, I didn't have a favour to call in. I just rang them up and they were nice enough to let me use it, which was awesome of them. So you should go and check out the film and look in the credits and see who they are and go and say, hey, you guys are awesome because they are awesome. Mr. Ben175 asks me, have you considered a career as an actor? No, have you? Don't click off the video yet, Ben. I have really considered an acting career. I don't know if I want to pursue it, though. Anyway, next question. Miss Kirsten 97 asks me, where do you find the sets for your movies like Base Chase? Are they near to you? Well, no, they're not near to me, actually. I mean, some of them are a few hours away, but I have travelled up and down the country, and the country's UK in this case, or England, just in case you didn't know where I was from. But anyway, so, because some people think I'm from Australia, but I don't know why. But anyway, so, uh, yes, I have considered that kind of looking for sets nearby, but most of the time it's further away from me. Uh, because that's where all the cool sets are, because it's not as cool if it's near you, right? And now it's time for the news talk to everyone, where the news talks to me and I talk it through to you, because otherwise you wouldn't get the news, it'd stay in my head. But anyway, so I've got two things to talk to you about this week. First of all, Lady Gaga is going to be on the season finale of The Simpsons this week, uh, on Sunday the 20th of the one and only May in case you didn't know what month we were in. But anyway, when she's on that show, it's going to be a Gaga special. If you've seen the trailer already, which you want to go and check out, it's really cool. You see, it's like the Simpsons have gone completely Gaga, no pun intended. I mean, Lisa's like dressed as Lady Gaga and there's some interesting things going on. So it's definitely worth a look. But she's also going to be on Glee this week. So look out for that as well if you watch Glee. I don't, but maybe you do. So I thought I'd cover it anyway. But also, before I go on to the next feature, uh, Rihanna has released, as you know, her Where Have You Been video. But she's also going to be performing on the one and only finale of American Idol. The other week she wasn't on it when Coldplay were on it and now she's making up for it by being on it now to perform her new single on Wednesday the 23rd of May. Are you a big fan of Rihanna? Will you be watching or not? Let me know below, which is down there if you didn't get what I was talking about. But anyway, before I go and on to the next feature, what I want you to do is make sure you leave anything for future episodes down there and I can be covering your news next week and it can come through my head through the internet out there. Perfect. And now it's time for the team's top 10, everyone. If you're not familiar with this section of the show, I count down the top 10 artists as rated by you this week. If you'd like to vote for next week, look in the description of this video below my sponsored information and you will find a link. Follow that link uh, to the poll and when you get there, you can vote for your favourite artist. If they're not there, add them as an other option and I will add them to the list of artists for the next time. So here's your top 10 artists of the week and we've got loads of new entries and loads of disappearances from last week. So number 10 is a new entry and Mika makes his first entry into the chart. Well done to him. No new music from him at the minute but we're expecting some anytime soon so look out for more from here maybe he'll be in the chart again soon nine they're back in the chart again welcome back jls number eight you can find jessie j she's doing well on the voice she's got a new single laser light out i did a parody of it if you haven't seen it go check it out but she's number eight in the chart number seven bruno mars he's easy come easy go but he's back again now number six it's Nicki minaj 
Number five, Lana Del Rey has slipped a few. Number four, she's climbing again. Thank goodness for that. Maybe because of the new meat suit that's been seen on her, Lady Gaga, the Monster Ball, or should I say the Born This Way Ball tour, where she's dressed as a meat dress again, this time to the Americano song. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Number three is a new entry for YouTube sensation Goldwing. Go and check him out. Number two, Sarah Gibson. I mentioned her the other week, F11 bar 84. She is number two on this chart. She is obviously a big supporter of mine, and she's doing great in the chart this week, which is awesome to see. And number one, Katy Perry claims the top spot again. Well done to her. She really is dominating this chart. Can anyone else beat her to the top spot next week? Let's find out. Make sure to vote for your favourites, and I'll see you in the next episode. But for now, it's time for the shout out. So I know I messed up already and I've told you that I'm doing shout out this week, which you kind of know because I do it every week. This week it goes to Little Miss Comments where she's got amazing videos over on her channel. She's a great person to go talk to, so go check her out down there. Uh, there'll be a link in the description as there always is. So if you want to have a shout out next week, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for checking out another episode of Ask the Teen. If you'd like to check out my Facebook, it's The Teen Talks. If you'd like to check out my Twitter, it's Greg Frog. And if you'd like to check out my second channel, it is the one and only The Teen 2. If you didn't get any of that information, it's all up there, so you can go and have a look. Thank you for watching another episode. Please subscribe if you haven't already comments below questions below shout outs below or send them to me as an inbox message i really don't mind your choice thank you and i will see you next week have an awesome week everyone bye